going to make a little tutorial. I'm going to try to make this rather quickly compared to my vlogs. Um, I've been asked how to make the um, rosettes. A lot of people call them rosette wands, wands, rosettes, whatever. <laughs> whatever you want to call them. Uh, it's okay with me anyway. Um, this is one I made uh, not too long ago. Um, at the beginning of spring, I picked springy colors, and this, this is adorable. I love that sticker. It's one of the bubble stickers with a few sequins in it, so I didn't make it. And I used a sticker um, for the back to cover up the staples. I use staples. I do not sew. A lot of people sew them, and they look gorgeous. They look very, very professionally put together. Mine are kind of blah, but when you, when you cover it up with stickers um, and other things, it looks fine. Uh, so, this is what you're going to need. Uh, first, you're going to need some crepe paper. You can get this at Walmart, uh, Dollar Tree, Dollar Store, I mean, excuse me, General Dollar, uh, Family Dollar, just about everywhere. Um, and uh, it will be with the party supplies most of the time. Um, party decoration supplies. And it's, it's very inexpensive. Um, at the Dollar Tree, I believe that it's been a little bit since I bought any, but I believe there were two rolls for a dollar. I could be wrong. Correct me if I am. Um, but anyway, and I'll, also you can find it cheaper sometimes at, <laughs> cheaper than Walmart even, um, at like Dollar General and stuff like that. And you'll also need some straws. Uh, the paper straws. You can get these now just about anywhere. Um, I guess manufacturers finally figured out that crafters go everywhere. We go to grocery stores. We go to crafting stores. We go everywhere. So put these everywhere so we can get them. These are also um, pretty inexpensive. Um, some of the colors, some of the different colors are hard to find. The common colors would be the stripes, or the patterns, I mean, sorry. The stripes, um, I think the blue or the green polka dot came with these, or these, I don't even know. I love, this is one of my favorites, the black and gold dots. I wish they had black and silver, because I absolutely love black and silver also. But anyway, you can use solid colors, uh, whatever. Uh, a lot of times, Hobby Lobby has specials, so... Definitely check on that because if you can save a little bit of money, that means you won't save any money because we all know you're going to buy something else crafty. Anyway, so you will need crepe paper, you any color that you want. It doesn't matter. Start making Christmas ones because um, once it's Christmas, you're going to be all, oh my God, oh my God, what am I, I going to do? Or is that just me? I don't know. But anyway, uh, the paper straws and, oh, since I don't sell them, um, and I just staple and, um, they're, <laughs> mommy, uh, Sarah has a habit of stealing my stuff. So I put my name on it. Uh, but I just staple in the middle and cover those areas with the stickers. Um, also you will need glue. I would suggest using glue. Um, even when they're very, very sticky. Go ahead and put a few drops of glue just to make sure and let it sit overnight because um, they, they will fall off. A little bit of, oh, look at this, look at this, pass it around, and the stickers will start to fall off. So um, use some glue. These bottles uh, are more, they're, they're starting to be easier to find. I think I ordered them from Walmart online. They didn't have them in the store, and they came from another store. But these are brilliant. Um, Jenny, a friend of mine, well, in the crafting community, um, <laughs> my mind, I'm going through a, a relapse right now uh, with my MS, and um, I'm having a lot of memory and uh, a lot of stuff going on, so forgive me. Um, anyway, so she told me that these are the best, She, in her opinion. And I love them because they come with a pen 
as you can see, I'm not a beauty guru. I don't know how to do this. And that pin, you can insert it back in there if you can get it back in there. And um, it will keep it from drying. Or if it dries, you can poke it right through. I love this. You'll also want stickers. Um, any stickers you want. It, you don't have to make a match. Uh, just whatever you want. Whatever season. Whatever uh, you're trying to put through to someone. Express is what I'm trying to say. Um, so I'm going to use one on the front. Don't know which one yet. And one on the back. Um, like I said, to cover staples. Also, you'll need a paintbrush for, well, if you're going to do what I do, because this is my new favorite thing in the universe. Not really in the universe. I'm sorry for all the movement and shaking. I, this is, I'm, I've got a tripod now, but it's, um, uh, I'm working things out and I don't have much space. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. You don't want to hear it. But anyway, this is, and I've said this in another video, this is, um, glitter glue or glitterific. Excuse me. It's paint. I don't know why I said glue. Um, there is glitter glue though. I haven't used it for this, but I'm sure it works fine. Anyway, it's acrylic paint, but in this paint, which I will use because that's what I use in most of my spring swaps and things like that. There are little tiny shreds of iridescent, just shreds. I don't know if the camera is picking them up like this one. I mean, they're pretty good size. You can see how big they are. And, oh my gosh, I just, I don't know. I'm like a four-year-old with, with a bucket of paint. I just, I love it so much. It's good. Like I said in another video, I would cover my entire body with it if it were legal. It may be, but not when you're fat like me. Anyway, I'm sorry this drop off. I don't have much room, like I said. Okay, I'm going to set some things aside because I don't need everything right now. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to show you how to make just the rosette. I'm going to make one. I have made some to save on time. And I've already done seven minutes, so I'm not really saving on time. But we, I'm going to show you the rosette real quick, how to make it. Um, I, I'm really bad with measurements. So just take your crepe paper and just get some. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just some. And... I have a lot of nerve pain and nerve damage and twitching and weird stuff going on um, a lot of the time, off and on. And I can still make these, so uh, they're not hard for me. They may be hard for others, but I don't even measure like how many folds per inch or any of that stuff. I just start doing this and uh, until I'm just about done, a little over halfway. I put in a staple and just continue. Uh, the blue seems to be a little, not quite as tall, I guess, uh, with, yeah, um, as other colors. And I'm not sure why, but it's really cute. I mean, really cute. The color is, is gorgeous. I'm going to go ahead and staple that because uh, if I twitch at the wrong time, I am going to lose it. <laughs> Not lose my mind. It's already gone. Actually, I'm going to do two of them. It doesn't matter how clean or messy you are with staples. As long as they're not out to here. Uh, because you're going to cover them up anyway with whatever stickers or bling. Bling, bling, bling. I didn't get my bling out. I should have. But that's okay because I will be making more of these soon. So you just go until... You're a little, see, I'm, I'm a little past, but I'm going to go a couple more times just to make sure. I don't know why, but before I staple, now this is just me, and I hope I was in frame because I was not looking. I am not a professional, but anyway, okay, I cut it before I staple. Most people that I have seen in videos do not do that, but oh well, that is me. My stapler went wonky there for a second. So, that's what I do. And that's basically the rosette. Um, it's not gorgeous. It's not precise. But, I made it. And I'm going to use it. I made these also. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, the blue as like the primary color. What I do with my straw. 
<laughs> that dude was strong, y'all. Okay, I'll just have to get another one. One moment, please. Got it. Anyway, I got all my stuff around me scattered. Oh, you can see over there, can't you? Anyway, so what I do is I will try to find the biggest one because the paper, different machines, different way of me folding it, whatever. Um, and it's it's going to be longer, taller, whatever. So, I'm sorry, this is so long already. So, what uh, I'm going to do, or what I do, sometimes I do trim a little bit. And sometimes I will use, I don't have them with me. Um, but I will use the um, scissors, the art scissors, or whatever you call them, with a different cutting pattern. And uh, I will use those. But what I usually do, uh, so you got to be careful when you cut, because honestly, a lot of times we will cut too much, trying to get perfect, and we'll end up with a rosette the size of your thumb. So what I do is I just smush the straw. It's really easy. Smush the straw. Put the straw in the middle, approximately in the middle, a little bit up, and then make sure that I've got these the way I want them. I always do two in the front. And one in the back. I don't know why. Maybe because the back's not going to be seen as much. Um, and I'm a little heavy. Well, I'm a little heavy with the stapler. But what I'm going to do is put two or three right here because it's got to go through this straw. And then I always flip it. I don't know why. It's just me. I'm weird. Um, make sure it's not folding. And flip it again, or not flip it again, but anyway, so that's pretty much what I do. I'm done with the stapler. I will probably trim that part up a little bit. Actually, I'll do it right now. Lord, don't let me get all excited with scissors in my hands. See? And then you gotta go get that. I'm bad, y'all. I gotta stop. Anyway, I'm sorry it's all up in your face. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> What I'm going to do is, first I'm going to put the sticker, I don't know, I think I want, honestly, I don't know which one that I want. Do I want a butterfly? Uh, this one is kind of tore up, so I will just use it for uh, sizing. Okay, that's cute. That's cute. Now, this one's bigger, so I probably want the bigger one up there, right? Yeah, I think I do. Now, which one? Stop it, Wendy. Wendy Boo. Sorry. I'm too, oh, I just dropped one, and I'm too fat to bend over and pick it up. I will, in a minute. Okay, I want something with not too much blue. See how the blue, it looks great, but it's too blue. That looks pretty. That looks pretty. That looks, which one? Okay, I like this one. What I'm going to do is, oops, what I'm going to do, is get my glue. And uh, I'm going to glue the little knobby dot thing. The little sticky out thing. And I'm going to go ahead and kind of, oops, <laughs> kind of do this. Can y'all even see? I This is like redneck tutorial, craft tutorials. Anyway, and I'm going to do that. Does it go that way? Or do I want... Oh, yeah, it's got to go that way. I mean, in my brain. So, I'm just going to hold that for a second. I'll stop because I'm going to hold it for about three or four minutes. And let, really? <laughs> and let it dry a tiny bit. And I'll put the other one on the back also. I'll be back. Hey, I am back. And I decided that what would look good on the other side is just another sticker. Um, I guess you could actually use this or have it sitting on both sides, but this side is going to have this gorgeous glitter paint that I'm about to apply. And also, I did not add any this time, but you can also add ribbon, or, and when you staple the rosettes together, just stick your ribbon in there, kind of fold it, 
over that way. I mean, it, it looks gorgeous. I didn't do that this time. Um, next time I make one, I might. Uh, anyway, so <clears throat> I am going to just start so you can see the process, which is really <laughs> simple to do or I wouldn't be able to do it. Just look at that. Oh, you can't see it, can you? Look at that. It's so pretty. Um, it's all the way down there. It wasn't. No, I don't want to hit anything. So we're just trying to take a nap. We've both been kind of sick today. I don't know why. Look at that. Gorgeous. Whoops. See? I gotta look through my eyeballs, not the camera. Anyway, so the way I guess I could do just this, but I think, and I always put my hand behind it because it does need stability. And, oh my gosh, I just love this stuff. Oh, sorry. I am not a good, is it filmographer? I don't even know what they're called. Anyway, just look at that. It is so pretty. Oh my gosh. I wish you could see it in person because it is gorgeous. So, I'm going to turn this off and finish up and then I'll be back. 